goodbye 2023 <sighs> guys hey guys it's me Ariel Fuzzle here welcome back to a video from my youtube channel this video is actually quite random actually um i just want to talk about <laughs> this is not podcast i'm doing like a podcast <laughs> it's not every december every end of the year i always have this idea of like wanting to do a complication of what i did for like the year to make it dramatic you know and my youtube is already like my diary i just want to talk about this year honestly before i jump into the video and talk about this year all the effing unexpected things happened this year i ordered because i'm hungry little shit smr by the way i grew my nails by the way okay guys so let's talk about january 2023 let's talk about one january 2023 first and january of this year has been super duper fun it was like the most the most fun um new year celebration that i had my whole entire life i was literally partying that one thought like shower thoughts do you ever just get a deep freaking random shower thought you do you ever feel super duper happy at that one specific moment that you are scared you are afraid the happy moment will be gone the one moment that you are purely and genuinely happy will be gone that was what i was feeling first january this year i experienced a lot of like shoot this year it was so fun the thing that i love and um i went for a shoot with a bunch of people i think this year i also gained so many experiences and downs roller coaster and that but but like i guess that's what makes everything super fun let's talk about february okay so in february i had so much fun too it was the second best month of 2023 this year i went to concert my first ever concert it was know that like i never been to any concert before so it was my first first ever um concert i believe it was smelly ghostly it was like indonesian singer and i was <laughs> i was also in love guys that time yeah because of someone i got my first love oh that sounds so cliche comment below if you believe in love because i don't believe in love at all i was average level of in love like i remember that time it was like i woke up to his text every day blah blah blah, blah. And, and i also had this crush on someone a big big a big big crush on someone and um <laughs> I was so heartbroken because of him. I got out from my comfort zone by going to this one social camp provided by my uni, organized by my uni, and it was super, super duper duper fun. Super chaotic also. And it was my first time ever, like that time. I just can't believe that I literally did that. Chill, it's just a camp. You've never been to a camp before no i don't i've never been to any camp before like any school camp i think i feel so glad that i went to this camp because i learned a lot to take care of myself and um i'll miss this moment the most march 23rd it was my birthday month and i also went on a date yes <laughs> and then it was my 19th birthday i turned 19 this year 
my last team so me and my sisters had like lunch brunch for my birthday then people kept wishing me all day guys it was so crazy i felt so loved like non-stop so thank you so much guys Ooh, this is the best part of my birthday was that the fact that my mom booked a hotel for me and my best friend to celebrate my birthday was the best thing ever and it was just us having more, fun more, and not more. to forget that i got the best birthday present ever it was an iphone and a gucci perfume super unexpected i don't know why but i think march is my lucky month because every march of the year i always it's always something big like it's a good day every day i'm always in my good mood and sort of thing so um but i went to a lot of uni trips that kind of made life more fun i think i learned a lot of things in that month that helped me to get through every obstacles in that month because honestly that month was not easy at all but we say no pain no gain right now let's go over apple trade trades at this year honestly it looked like this a disaster so april april we had raya which i wasn't feeling raya at all it was bad honestly honestly okay um but what put the sparkle in april was that i had a lot of time with my friends and then i reunited with my primary school sweethearts after so many years it's crazy <laughs> And then this one YouTuber, which I always watch her reply to my story. <laughs> now let's talk about May 2020. For me, I went on a date. I was so busy with uni, barely even post on YouTube, only on Instagram that time. So I went on a date, and then it was. It was okay. <laughs> uh, it was full of editing month. Like, I was so busy that time. It was the most hectic month ever. But I always try to find time for my family, my friends, because I wouldn't be here without them. And I'm really grateful. And people say no one is too busy for something. You know, like if you love them, you have to try to make time for them no matter what. I think May was the hardest uni life ever. I would say that because I had to host an event for my uni. Um, but I did it pretty well. Come on, your girl hosted an event. This one was my final project. It was the most chaotic, stressful day ever, I would say that. But this in intent. She's a chef and she had to help us kind of for our final project um, but I was so busy with uni again and um, yeah but I still had so much fun because I participated in a lot of curriculums and um, yeah that's me <laughs> now let's talk about June 2020 this one, it was the final, not really final, just like a mini test, one day to do the test. But my friends was super chill and I was a chaotic one. Like, I swear to God, I was so st stressful but I didn't really show it. Um, but they made it fun and this was the last minute study group, yes. <laughs> I started the habit of going on a walk, a very long walk with my mom every day. I wouldn't miss it. Um, and I think it helps with my kind of productivity and motivation. Yeah. If y'all follow me on Instagram, um, I was actually admitted to the hospital. Um, I was a bit shocked, but that month was quite hard for me if I will tell you guys because it was a it was a bumpy self-discovery moment for me also it's weird you know life is weird <laughs> and then I also 
aspirants to real job I broke her job, yes I did not expect this to happen but it did then I found a love for books I love reading right now which amazed me I used to hate books so much I hate reading but now I love it It was honestly a bumpy road for me because I was in the middle of my selfie journey uh, but I feel grateful about it and then I hit milestone so thank you guys so much for watching me I love you guys so much I found this love or addition to going on a date with myself and honestly recommend it literally i always have this fear of just going out alone but right now i recommend this to you guys go on go for it july 23rd july was a bumpy road but it was really stressful but i still had fun but thanks to all of these people who helped me get through everything August Trinitated I think what I look forward more to was that I really want to go to more hiking, adventures, road trip with friends and I still can't believe that in 2024 I'll be ending my uni life not really actually in MSU yes though but like yeah all these people made it happen so <laughs> This year I tried a lot of new things honestly, like I learned to cook, I got a new niece, yes yeah, surprisingly, um, yeah I really want to try something new, a lot of things in Trinity Fall that I really want to do and I haven't gotten to do it in 2023. September 2023 I think I found the strongest version of myself this year and I actually did something that I thought I couldn't handle this year, you know? and I doubt myself a lot too um, like I thought I did not do a lot this year but I actually did I met a lot of people I made new friends I kind of handled all the stress, all the silent battles that I sneered to which I'm, wow, I handled that pretty well and um, all these people that kind of got sent to me and yeah, oh my god, it's now it's now October 2023 My October was really bad I kind of had all the insecurities in me It was my lowest phase in 2023 But then I discovered that I love matcha so much Super random right? But yeah, I used to hate matcha But now I love matcha I cannot live without matcha at all <laughs> November 2023 I always try to remember this one quote or phrase when you focus on the good, the good gets better and and it did I kind of reunited with Amanda, my primary school best friend I travel a lot, road trip only actually The last baby, December 2023 I think December is my best month I really want to tell you guys I tried to open my own baking business it didn't really work but i tried at least i tried and what matters is the experience you know and i don't really care about the result 
I care about the experience and the process of everything. Try to make it fun. Um, but yeah, I decided to open one with my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I think December was the month. December is the month that I actually went out fully wild. Irene, I became the prefects for my uni, which is a really big deal for me. I went a lot, a lot alone, and then I got a new knees. I mean, Eva Lily, guys. <laughs> that will be the end of 2023 thank you so much for watching this whole entire video mini video dedicated to irene in 2023 it's those days where you try your best and it did work out and that is okay if all you did this year was just survive wake up and do your shit that is more than enough I every roller coaster alive having highs and lows in life are more interesting than just like life which just like goes straight path if it became like that you will never grow i've learned is also that the world won't change with or without anyone like because you're gonna let go of that person then let it go because the world is not gonna change anything you know like the world is just the same with or without anyone and if you have that toxic person in your life that you want to let go so much just let go let go of them at the end of the day at the end of the day you've only got yourself so love yourselves or ourselves fully but no matter how much friends you have in your life like you met a lot of people this year but just one thing that you've only got yourself the only person who will genuinely calm yourself down whenever you're sad whenever you cry is yourself so be gentle with yourself and i've learned a lot of self-love too this year i mean this year i i'm so proud of myself because only you only you know how much you've been through this year the silent battles I'm so funny i never told anyone even even your sisters even your family members even your friends that's what makes you stronger when the thing bad things happen to you again you know how to deal with it you know because you've been through this like i got this you know you will never learn to overcome it if you go if you don't go through it if you don't grow through it <laughs> I mean 23 I mean 23 so 23 I've also learned to try to find love more in friendship than romance every people that we met always always okay I, I'm not cool okay jumpa orang ni aku akan jatuh cinta dengan dia I'm gonna fall in love with that person and that person will be my soul my my everything but honestly no that's just cliche don't be dumb of yourself please Nak jadi happy kena ada relationship kena nak jatuh nak ada kena ni ada relationship ni ada relationship you know just stop it just stop it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in twenty twenty four bye.